Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions as we just sit down and enjoy going through the Word of God together. This week, I had the privilege of speaking to a group of people about salvation. And as I was teaching them, I, I taught them that at salvation, we join God's plan that He has for us. We discover our place and we begin to receive the assignments that God has for us, like in the life of the Apostle Paul. Sometimes people get confused by me because they judge me by others and they think that I want an international voice and they think I want to have an international ministry and people don't understand. I've been asked by God to do one thing. My place is to be the pastor of the Cathedral of Praise. My assignment is to pastor the Cathedral of Praise and, and help the congregation fulfill its destiny, help the congregation fulfill God's will for it. Now, that keeps me very busy and very happy, and I don't feel a need to go and participate in everything else going on. I'm, I'm just happy being a pastor and feel very privileged getting to be a pastor. But a few years ago, God began to add to the assignments of COP, and therefore my assignments as pastor. He began to speak to our heart about the need to open 200 churches across our nation in 20 years. And I came to God and I said, God, how in the world are we going to do that? I mean, I see the need for it. I see that as we go into a city and we pioneer a church and we, we bring people out of sin and out of poverty and into a, an abundant life, it will, it will lift our whole nation. I, I can see that. I can see the need for that. I can see the, the building of the main centers. I, I can see all of this. But I said, God, I'm, I'm happy to do it, but teach me how. I'm, I'm like Mary. How can this be? I said, Lord, it's so hard to, to take these young, young ones still in college and try to train them and get them mature enough to actually pastor a church and not fall down all the time and not make messes. I mean, the, the, the attrition rate of young pastors in the world is, is awful today because they just the stability in, in society is, is so different. I said, Lord, how in the world do we, we build this army of 200 pastors? I mean, Gideon needed 300. You're only asking me for 200, and I don't even know how to get 200. And God spoke to my heart about the Peter generation. Now, the Peter generation is found here in Luke 18 and also over in the other Synoptic Gospels. Peter said, we have left all we had to follow you, verse 28. I tell you the truth, Jesus said to them, no one who has left home or wife or brothers or parents or children for the sake of the kingdom of God will fail to receive many times as much in this age and the age to come eternal life. Now when you put it with the other synoptic gospels, it talks about also homes and family and it talks about fields and businesses and an agricultural society. It talks about a hundredfold return. What Jesus is basically saying is, Peter, I understand you left everything. You left success for the ministry. Peter, I will give you a hundred times as much in this life. Now, this falls right after the rich young ruler deciding that he loved his money. When he was given a chance to follow Jesus, he loved his money more. Now, I want to challenge some of you today in the Peter's generation. Now, let me define who that is. You're at least 30 years old, You've been successful, either in a career or successful in starting a business. You, you have to leave success. Peter did not leave failure. Peter left success. You're willing to leave it all. You're not going to be a part-time businessman. And you're willing to be trained to give the rest of your life to the work of God. Now, I get a little emotional about this. There are many of you out there that are listening to me right now. And you know in your heart, this is you. Now we've got the School of Pastoral Studies set up and we have it basically set to handle young college students. But I want to set up a special training program starting this next June that will be just for those of you who are of the Peters generation. You've been successful. I can't ask you that you leave nothing. I would ask you that you quit your business, that you quit your careers, that you walk away from it. You say, but other churches, their pastors are businessmen, but you don't find that in the Bible. If, if you're looking for an excuse, you're, you're not going to be happy around me, because I won't teach you excuses. I'll, I'll teach you what the Word says. Peter said, we left everything. We left success. In fact, Peter actually left success twice in his life. Once he went back to fishing, Jesus gave him success again. He had to leave it a second time. Each time, Peter had to leave success. 
But I'm speaking to successful career people, men and women. I'm speaking to successful businessmen and women. If God has his hand on your life, and you know that you are to be trained, and you know that you are to give your life now to the ministry, and you're willing to walk away from everything, you're willing to walk away from all the success, and give yourself to be trained, and give the rest of your life to the ministry, and trust him that he will restore and return a hundredfold. If you're willing to do this, I want you to contact me. You can get on Facebook and contact me. You can contact me at my email address, desumrall at cathedralofpraise.com.ph, or just get right on Facebook and message me on Facebook. Whatever's the most convenient, or walk up and talk to me. But in the next seven days, I'm going to be putting together our first batch of the Peters Generation. If you'd like to be part of the very first batch of the Peters Generation, I want you to contact me immediately in the next week.